guys, it's me. Don't you love it when um, the Lord talks to us through dreams and encourages us and, um, you know, just kind of guides us along so that we don't lose hope or lose faith? He is so good to us. Anyway, I'm on here to share another dream, and I don't know if it's um, something that, you know, is from the Lord or not, but I, I'm going to say it probably is, but just take it before the Lord yourself and, you know, test everything that anyone tells you. And with no further ado, I will tell you the dream. Um, I dreamt that I was standing in this room with my brother David. Now, David has actually passed away some years ago, and so I and I believe he is in heaven. So anyway, um, he's standing in this room, and he's holding a bowling ball. And this room is like, uh, oh, how can I explain it? It's like a rectangle. And the long length of the rectangle is, is the wall, and he's facing that wall. And on that wall, there's a door to his left and a door to his right, and they're open. And those two doors lead to separate rooms that adjoin in the middle with another door. So there's basically three rooms and three open doors. And so he... He had it arranged, it's thundering out here, it may, it may rain on me here. He had arranged obstacles or items, like different items you would find in a house. Now I've got a frog competing with me here. But um, he arranged these obstacles or, or um, items throughout these three rooms. So that when he rolled, he, he rolled this bowling ball to the right door, towards the right door, and it went, it bumped into obstacles to make it curve until it made it through the, the right door and it kept rolling. And every time it hit something, it, that would cause it to keep rolling. And so it would keep moving through that room and, and between that doorway into the next room and then, then it did that all the way back to the door what door on his left that you know came back out into the main room and then the scene changes so I have no idea what that meant um, if you guys know let me know <laughs> if you have some ideas anyway but um, anyway so he got the I'm, I think maybe it means he got the ball rolling with something or maybe David uh, he's representing David I don't know I have no idea but anyway, so the scene changes, and I'm still in that room, but Dave, David is uh, in the third room now. And I feel my, my stomach kind of rumbling and moving around, and I thought, thought huh, that, you know, that feels like, you know how when you're pregnant, well, some of you probably wouldn't know, but... Um, you know, if there's a baby in your stomach, you can feel that baby in your belly moving around. And you can, you know, when the baby pushes a hand or a foot or something against your belly, you can see it move and ripple across your belly. Well, that's what it felt like. And I was thinking, wow, you know, how did I get pregnant here? <laughs> you know, I, I was trying to figure that one out. And then the scene changes. Now I'm in this um, hospital waiting room. And I'm sitting on the floor beside a row of chairs in the waiting room. And sitting on the chair next to me was my sister Virginia, who lives currently in um, Israel. And next to her were some other women, and I didn't know if they were nurses or if they were just people waiting or what. But there were, you know, like, I don't know, five or six women sitting there. Anyway, my stomach starts, uh, the baby in my stomach starts moving 
more uh, being like becoming more active and it every few seconds you know it was getting worse and worse and worse more more ferocious in my stomach and I looked down and I could see like an imprint on my stomach of the baby's from from its elbow to its wrist push up against my stomach and I thought that seems like an awful big length of you know arm for a baby for you know it, it seemed extra large and that baby was getting almost violent in my stomach trying to roll and toss and trying to get out and I uh, started going into labor of course and my sister and the women called for a doctor and the doctor came in there and he said you have to get to the delivery room now and I said I can't get up and because I was in labor and I was in you know in a lot of pain and so um he called for people to come in there and, and bring in a stretcher and they carried me to, to the delivery room and then I woke up. So I guess, I don't know what the bowling ball part meant, but I'm guessing that the Lord is saying, we are about ready to leave. You know, I'm, I'm about ready to deliver you. And um, the rapture is just about to take place here. We're, we're, uh, he's coming to deliver us from this earth. And, uh, you know, we're about to go, guys. So, I, I take that as a, a word of encouragement. And, uh, all I could say is just, you know, get excited. We're, we're, <laughs> We are on our way to the delivery room now. So, love you guys. I hope that uh, blesses you. And um, I'll catch up with you later. Hopefully in heaven. Love you. Bye.